Welcome everybody to Nine's Corner. I am Nine. It is so nice to meet you. And if you're returning, welcome back, my dear friends. Don't forget to do the YouTube things, like, subscribe, share, and all that kind of good stuff. So it is time again for our weekly vibes. Let's look at love, money, and advice for this week, or just possibly something for you to think about. But this one time, I need to point out an important date that's coming up. So it is going to be June 6, 2022 which is actually 666. Now I know there's some really negative connotations to that number, but it's actually an angel number. An angel number, universal, you know, angel being the name on it, but it could be universe, you know, it's whatever you want it to be. And that energy, that power, that angel is trying to communicate and say, hey, are you, tr are you trying to sabotage yourself? Are you having negative thoughts? Are you feeling, you know, trapped by something or someone? This is the time that you have to concentrate on the material things in life, your friends and your family. Six is all about wealth, family, and friends. So this is really important because on June 6, 2022, it is the best time to manifest. Think about it. It is six times three. So it's three times the energy of six. So if there's something that you, cause any, okay, let's just start off. When you want something, as soon as you have the spark of an idea that, oh, I'd love to have a house, that house is out in the universe and it's manifested. All you have to do, <laughs> all you have to do, it's so easy. <laughs> it's so hard. But what you need to do is build up your vibration to get to that manifestation. So, 666, June 6, 20, is a great time to put out your manifestations for what you want in your life. And, you know, it could be as simple as saying, I am a magnet for love, money, health, and miracles. <laughs> and God bless you if you're willing, just take a few seconds that day or a few minutes that day to manifest for yourself. And then, for all my family, my YouTube family that are with me and continue to be with me through the ups and downs, and I appreciate it, just take a minute and put out some positive energy for the world. Manifest some positive energy, positive change coming into this world because the pendulum has gone too far the other way. We need to have as many pure spirits, energetic spirits, spirits that are looking you know, to have a better world and have a better place to collectively put out a wish on that day for yourself and for the world. It's important. So I let you know now. So with that, we're going to get to our weekly vibes. I'm going to put a little water here and you can think about what number resonates with you. And before you do it, don't forget to take a really deep breath in through your nose and out through your mouth so that you could be as centered as you can be to pick your number. Group one for love, you got the Ten of Cups. Happy times with family this week. Now, there may be somebody leaving home or you're going to hear from somebody. You're going to get a long distance call from somebody. There's some kind of reconnection is going to happen here. So take advantage of any opportunities you get to spend with family and friends. Reconnect. Make sure that they know you love them. 
When it comes to money, we've got the high priestess. So with the high priestess, patience is needed. <laughs> you know, it's, it's one of those things where you'll eventually have success, so don't lose heart. But this week is kind of, yeah, patience. When it comes to advice, we have the Ten of Wands. So your, your goal, what you want to achieve is just in reach. So this is not the time to give up. There's a lot of obstacles and things that may be weighing you down, but you are going to get what you want and you deserve it. Do not settle. Now it's time for your angel answers. What question do you have that has a yes, no, or a variation of that for an answer? What question do you have this week? Do you have it? Meditation brings answers. Meditation brings answers. Try to come up with an intellectual answer to your concerns hasn't been successful. That's because the solutions you seek can only be found by going within through meditation or inner spiritual work. You may also gather insights from your nighttime dreams as your subconscious creates solutions for you that are not available to your waking mind. Group 2. For love, you got the Two of Cups. So this is the time to focus on relationships, especially those loved ones. So a choice has to be made, but make it with your heart. Don't let your head get involved. Let your heart make the decision. When you use your heart, you'll make the right decision. When it comes to money, we got the Ace of Cups. You will keep going despite financial worries, but with the Ace of Cups, it seems like there could be a new project or some kind of secondary way of bringing in money, financial gain, and it could actually just be coming into money, whether that be from a family source or from uh, some kind of bonus from work or from the government. When it comes to advice, we have the King of Cups. So whatever it is that you want and need, it will come to you. Don't worry, you'll love your way through any obstacles or problems you may have. Trust in God. Trust in the universe. Let the universe work through you and for you. It comes to the angel answers. What is your question for the angel answers this week? It should be a yes, no, or a variation of it. But do you have your question? So let's see. What's the answer? Peaceful resolution. The challenges you're inquiring about are going to come to an end. Conflict will cease and soon be replaced with harmony. There will be a sense of peace shared by all, even if some only agree to disagree. Disagreements will be resolved in your favor. That includes struggles with employers, legal battles, arbitrations, and even strife among family and friends. Be forgiving and understanding with those that may be in error. Allow peace to come with grace and dignity for everyone. Group three, when it comes to love, you got the king of pentacles. So communication is very important this week. You need to communicate your wants and needs with those around you, whether that be your family, friends, or at work with an employer. You may find that you're the responsible one. Everybody takes it for granted that you're going to save the day. Sometimes you just want to be carefree and responsibility free. So talk to your loved ones about this. When it comes to money, we have justice. So you may be feeling the pinch and kind of wondering where money is coming from. And every time you turn around, there's another expense or something has to be fixed. But things are going to improve. It's just this week. Every week has its own energy, and this week is just going to be a balancing out. What you get, you have to give away. So when it comes to advice, <laughs> this is perfect, the Four of Cups. So no matter how things may appear, 
there is always room for improvement. You may not see an opportunity, but it's there and it's waiting for you. You may be a little bit bored with the way things have been, but this is saying don't lose heart. There is still room for something exciting to happen for you. So when it comes to your angel answers, you're going to be asking a question that has a yes, no, or a variation of yes or no to the, to the answer. So do you have your question ready? All right. Your angel answer is forgiveness. Forgiveness. Forgiveness can work miracles. When you release the past, a weight is lifted from your shoulders and a sense of freedom washes over you. Ask your angels to help you let go of sadness or pain caused by others so you can be free. This card can also refer to the need for self-forgiveness. It's time to let go of any guilt you are holding on to regarding past mistakes you may have made. Give yourself credit for having tried your best even if the results weren't what you would have liked. Focus on the changes you've made since then that have made you a better person. Well, that's our reading for today. I thank you for your time. I hope something resonated with you, or at least you got something to think about out of it. Until next week, and we do our weekly vibes again, here is our unity candle lit for each and every one of us. And until next week, God bless and take care. Cheerio.